Um, testing requirements, very, very important. Obviously, they have a few things highlighted here. Don't interact with accounts you don't own. Of course, that seems obvious to me. Um, and uh, you need to append this hacker one string to your user agents here. So I thought the first thing I would do is just kind of walk through uh, what that looks like because the, uh, oh, hey, thank you for following. Oh, I love that video of Tank. I forgot I got that set up uh, before I was done. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, the, the testing requirements here, uh, I thought I'd walk through showing how to get them set up because uh, this is really important, right? What they're, The reason they have this is so that they can identify uh, and filter out researcher traffic compared to any other uh, logical traffic. So um, it's really important to do this. I mean, obviously it's nice to them. We want to be nice to the, uh, the, the companies that are allowing us to go in and pen test, but uh, it's also, you know, you can do it for selfish reasons, right? Because that's going to allow them to identify you quicker. Um, you won't have any bad situations where you submit a valid report, but they come back and say it's, you know, for whatever reason, they don't want to accept it because this, I don't know if that would happen or not. I've certainly had it, you know, happen to me in the early days of my researching. So I just really recommend, um, you know, obviously it's, it's for them, the benefit of them, but, you know, also be selfish and put it in there so that you can get, get the money that you've earned when you've, you found those vulnerabilities. Um, so anyway, um, two different ways they have listed there in Chrome. I'll start with Burp because because Burp is pretty easy. Um, they have a GitHub repo in here, very similar, right? If you ever used Add Custom Header, it's it's you know the same type of thing. Uh, I don't know why they want to do a user agent. I'm sure they already have some type of a system for querying and sorting through user agents, which is probably why, uh, but totally fine. So um, super easy. All you do is grab this here with a Git clone. I've actually already got it set up here. Uh, you can see in the burp user agent, it'd be great if I could actually do it. There we go. I'm telling you, I've, I've been a manager for a year now and my technical skill, it is insane. 10 years of engineering, 10 years of every day coding, doing I'm still doing something on my free time in the weekend, I'm still doing everything that y'all were seeing. And, and just within a year, my technical skills are already going to go. It's so, so crazy. So I apologize if I look like I haven't touched a computer in, in uh, a little while, but anyway, Jar file here, everything else is already set up. Super simple to get this installed. If you haven't done a custom burp extension before, just come into extensions, you'll hit add. Up here, you'll just select Java, right? Because it's a jar file, so we'll upload Java. And then you'll just select this and hit open. Now I've already got it set up, so I'm not gonna do that again. But you'll see an additional box that'll pop up that say it was successfully installed. And you now have the burp user agent here. Um, so after that, you just have to set up a session handle rule or handling rule in the project setting. So uh, come over here to scope settings, go to sessions, and uh, you can see I've already got it set up. Um, super simple. Hit add, name it whatever you want. Come down here, add, you're going to do invoke a burp extension, and then I have this one selected. So I would go ahead and select that and hit OK. And then you can also do the, the scope here. Um, so what we want to do is we want to append this this custom user agent, the hacker one, uh, yeah, the hacker one string for every request that we send. What's up, Storm? What's up, Storm? Appreciate you hanging out. Um, so if we're going to do that, if we're going to send this custom user agent on every request coming through Burp, what we need to do is we need to make sure that everything, including the proxy, is going to do that. Now it says use with caution here. Um, that would be for much more invasive. Uh, types of session handling rules. Um, it really shouldn't have an impact here. If you're navigating to other pages outside of this program, then it's entirely possible that they will, uh, they could block you or think that maybe something weird is going on. So if you start seeing any weird functionality outside of Hilton when you have this, just turn off the proxy or disable the session handling rule for a little bit when you're not testing uh, and you should see everything go away. But um, anyway, just if nobody's ever played with that before, I wanted to make sure to set that. So this is going to ensure that every uh, request that we send is gonna have that uh, that custom user agent. Uh, the way it's doing that, you know, the, the proxy specifically, obviously each one of these, so the, the intruder, scanner, um, extensions and repeater especially, those are creating individual HTTP requests, so they're gonna be automatically appending those. But what we really need to do is come to the proxy here and then we can route every uh, all of the HTTP requests that we're doing in Firefox. We wanna work in Firefox through this proxy and that's gonna go ahead and make sure that all of our traffic has that custom extension on it. So, and then we would just hit okay. Um, you know, if you wanted to get really specific here, you could potentially do an advanced scope add and just type in Hilton. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna only append, um, <laughs> thank you very much, hi, I'm Kiwi. Um, we're doing bug bounties. So uh, it's, it's 
Uh, ethical hacking uh, into websites, publicly available websites, and companies will actually pay you to do that. So it's one of the things that I, I teach, um, something that I've been doing for several years, working work in application security and everything. So yeah, it might be something fun to try at some point. It's much more accessible than, than you might think. Um, but yeah, so you can see you can add an Aaron Hilton. That's one way that you can, you can uh, make sure that, that you're not getting that additional problems if you're going to other websites, but uh, not a huge deal. I've already got this set up as well, so I'll just go ahead and cancel this, but you can see my uh, custom user agent is right there. I don't have it going through the proxy right now because I'm actually going to use Chrome to do any browser-based testing, um, so we'll jump over and do that now. Okay, so that gets that set up. Okay, we'll come back to Hilton, and uh, so it also says example instructions if you want to do this in Chrome here. So we'll open this. Now, what I saw, if you look at the actual URL in the bottom left-hand side there, right, it's developersgoogle.com, uh, a couple endpoints, and then it goes straight to an override user agent. But that doesn't actually load when I get here. I think they've changed it. So what I had to do when I first did this was just control F and go to user agent, and you'll find this network conditions override the user agent string. And that's, that's what you're specifically looking for. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get Chrome up here as well. You can see I've already got everything set up. I'll do it again just so we can show. Um, so the way that I do this typically, uh, first thing I do, open up Chrome and just go to where's my uainfo.com right there. Uh, that'll give you what your current user agent is, give you a little bit of information, everything on it, but it's super easy to cop it out or copy out from there. Uh, so go ahead and open up the dev tools once you do that. I already have this up, but I want to show how you get there. Um, so make sure you go to the network tab, take this down, make sure you've got it selected. And then you see on the left-hand side there, you're going to do a control shift P. If you're on a Linux machine like I am, that's going to allow us to run this command here. And we'll just type in show network conditions. That'll open our drawer down in the bottom. So we can pull this up. Pull this up right now when you open it you're going to see that this use default browser is enabled and you're not going to see anything here this should be an empty box initially but all you have to do is unclick that i would copy this paste it in here and then you can see i've just appended a very similar simple hacker one on that so any browser based testing i'm going to be doing through this instance of chrome that already has the custom user agent set up and uh, every request based uh, testing i'm going to do through burp itself although i could also use the burp uh, browser to take care of that as well. So um, anyway, if you have any questions about that, let me know. Um, I know we only have a couple people on here right now, but uh, especially if you're, you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, leave me a, a question in the comment. But I'll probably piecemeal this out into an individual video just so people have a quick instructional thing there because I've had some other researchers say that they've had trouble getting that set up. 